Hello everyone, Superman Dome Bros here, and today let's take a look at the Jack Specific Collector's Edition Sonic the Hedgehog figure. Now before we get into this review, let's rewind a bit back to 2018, back when Tomy had the license for Sonic the Hedgehog. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail on Tomy's line because that has been done before multiple times, but I will say that they had potential to be one of the best Sonic toy lines, but unfortunately they ran out of time with the Sonic franchise. But one of the last things they released was a classic Sonic Ultimate figure. This figure was released around 2018 and it is one of if not the best sonic figure ever made the sculpt looks amazing and really accurate to the modern interpretations of classic sonic the articulation is fantastic you could get him into a lot of iconic sonic poses and has some really nice accessories including multiple hands faces rings and a chili dog they didn't need to add a chili dog but they did he also comes with a green hill zone stand which is awesome to have but isn't needed as he can stand by himself but if you want some awesome jumping poses or running poses this is really nice to have as this makes it so much easier to get him into those poses and also he won't fall over which is a positive this figure is amazing but unfortunately this is the only ultimate sonic figure we got from tomy because after tomy jack specific got the license and started making sonic figures now i won't talk about the history of this line because i've already done that before multiple times Jack Specific is the newest master toy partner for Sonic the Hedgehog, only having the license for over a year as of the recording of this video. Jack Specific, for their first year, released the first wave of their plush line. Inspired by classic Sonic, we got Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Eggman. A lot of fans really love these plushes, but not really the other things. Jax released these two inch sphere with a miniature figure inside of them. And okay, that is enough of that. During the 30th anniversary of Sonic, Jack Specific released a collector's edition classic Sonic based on his look from Sonic Mania and from what I've seen of it, it does not look good. The sculpt looks good, but the lack of articulation in the legs as well as other things just make this figure such a downgrade from Tomy's figure. After the release of the collector's edition classic Sonic, we got a collector's edition modern Sonic, which is based off his look in Sonic colors, and that is the figure we'll be taking a look at today. So, is it actually good? Let's find out. Taking a look at the packaging, it's pretty basic. On the front, we have an image of Sonic the Hedgehog with the Sonic the Hedgehog logo, the Jack Specific logo. It says Collector's Edition, as well as some warnings on the front. This is also a door so you can look inside and see the actual figure. On the sides, we do have images of Sonic the Hedgehog with the Sonic the Hedgehog logo. On the top, we have a window so you can see the figure as well as the Sonic the Hedgehog logo. On the back, you have an image of the figure with his accessories, as well as it saying, the world's fastest blue hedgehog. Use the 12 swappable parts and 13 points of articulation to explore tons of expressions, gestures, and poses. Also includes a lenticular display base, chaos emerald, and scion wisp. For accessories, he comes with multiple hands, faces, as well as eyes. He also comes with a wisp, as well as a chaos emerald, which the chaos emerald looks really cool. And also these two stands, because this Sonic figure has a really hard time standing up. He also comes with a display base, which I am pretty disappointed by. It looks nice visually, but unfortunately, there is no way to store the accessories and it's not like as if there's no room for it there absolutely is look how much space there is at the bottom they could have easily put a little drawer there or have the top slide off they could have done something the tomy sonic figure has a stand that could hold off his accessories so the fact that this one doesn't is just super disappointing taking a look at the actual figure i am pretty mixed on him the sculpt on him it looks amazing it looks really accurate to what he looked like from sonic unleashed to sonic lost world and since that is my favorite version of modern sonic design wise he looks amazing amazing he just looks so good but there's a lot of sculpt errors on this figure which sucks there's indents on the feet there's a sculpt error on the knee joints there's just pieces of plastic just peeling off there's a mold error on the right side it's just so disappointing having these sculpt errors on a 50 dollars collectible figure a 50 dollars figure should not be having these issues but other than that the sculpt's pretty good the paint is also pretty solid there's not a lot on here but for what there is it's pretty good now you Usually for the feet, Jack Specific does a really bad job with the paint, but it actually looks pretty good here. There's some little paint errors here and there, but not enough to where it ruins the figure for me. And overall, it just looks really good. In articulation, it is exactly the same as the movie Sonic that released back in 2022. The head can swivel side to side, the arms can go forward about that far, back about that far, and out about that far. There is a bend at the elbow that can also swivel side to side. There's a ball joint at the hand, and for the legs, they can kick forward about this far, go back about this far and could go out about that far there's a bend at the knee that can swivel side to side and there's a ball joint at the foot the 
articulation is not bad, but I just wish it could have been better considering that this is a $50 collectible figure and he has the articulation of a $10 figure. I just wish there was more there. And now let's do some size comparisons. Overall, I'm pretty disappointed with this Sonic figure. It's not that it's bad, it's just that there's so many issues with it that you just can't ignore it. The articulation's pretty good, but it could be better, and all the sculpt errors just really ruins it for me. It's not a bad figure, and I do recommend you get it if you are a fan of modern Sonic. This figure is really hard to find for some reason, and I found it at a Toys R Us in Macy's, which I didn't even know there was going to be a Toys R Us in Macy's. You should probably check your local Macy's and see if there's a Toys R Us in there, because you might find this guy.